Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's the 11th of September 2014. I've got my cup of coffee, which means it's time for the Day Dose. For all of you that are Smash Brothers fans out there, it looks like uh, some characters have been revealed for the 3DS version of the game. Seven characters have been revealed so far, and it's come from a bunch of Japanese users who've managed to get the game a couple of weeks before it's actually launched. Some of the characters, you'll be happily, happy to know, are returning into the game. They're um, one of the characters is Ness from Earthbound, um, also Falco from Star Fox, and everyone will be obviously excited for Mr. Game & Watch, who will also be making a return, otherwise known as that funny 2D character with the insane uh, Smash Ultimate, if you remember him from the previous Smash Brothers. Also, to, also returning is Ganondorf and Dr. Mario. Instead of Pit from uh, Kid Icarus, there's going to be Dark Pit, which will presumably play the same way. And a character that we haven't seen before, but is returning, is the dog from Duck Hunt. If you remember the old NES game, where you used to shoot at your TV. Um, not exactly sure how he's going to play, but Dog from Duck Hunt sounds pretty exciting. Uh, the 3DS uh, version is obviously releasing, of Super Smash Bros. is releasing on the 3rd of October in America. Uh, we in South Africa should get it sometime towards the end of the year. I think we're predicting around about Christmas time for the Wii U version and the 3DS version. So be prepared to pick that up soon. Uh, from what I've seen, it looks like a lot of fun and it's going to be a great game on both the 3DS and the Wii U. So, coming soon. Knight, as you may have figured out, has been given a release date for the 2nd of June 2015. This will round off the Rocksteady trilogy in what is said to be an explosive finale to the series. So 2nd of June 2015, pretty much in a gaming lull when it comes to game releases, we're going to get Batman Arkham Knight. Be excited, looks pretty cool, you're going to be able to use your Batmobile, it can drive sideways, it looks awesome. As you can tell from the giant creeper face behind me, the next segment is about Mo Minecraft. More specifically, Mo Yang, the developers behind the game. It started off as a small company, it's actually a pretty big company now. And the word on the street is, according to Bloomberg and Wall Street Journal, uh, that Microsoft is actually about to buy Mo Yang for a whopping $2 billion. Quite an exceptional deal coming out from them. Um, nothing has been finalized. Finalized. These are all reports at the moment, but a two billion dollar deal for probably the most, the biggest selling indie game of all time. It's around about 53 copies, 53 million copies, sorry, around all of its platforms. So not doing too badly for a game, and it looks like uh, they're actually going to get bought out, and we expect the deal to be finalized sometime within the next two weeks, according to reports. Um, quite an interesting decision from Mo Yang to decide to go with Microsoft. Um, Notch, the create co-founder of Mo Yang, hasn't been the biggest supporter of Microsoft. Um, he openly spoke out about how bad Windows 8 was, um, amongst other things. So really interesting decision to go to go with him. I mean, on the other hand, you know, Minecraft was an Xbox exclusive for a year, so they have been partnered together in some way for quite some time. So we're going to see that deal. Also, just as an added extra, they're releasing Minecraft Lego. Now Minecraft is essentially Lego for adults, so they've created a block franchise that was created on a block franchise inspired by a block franchise. Yeah. Watch Dogs has been given a release date for the Wii U, dated on November 20th. Ubisoft has encouraged people to unlock Chicago with their gamepads on the EU. Woo! Interested in gaming with Will Ferrell? Then you are in luck! Because Will Ferrell has launched an initiative in which he will play games with some lucky users depending on how much money he raises for his campaign. He started an Indiegogo project called Will Ferrell's Super Mega Blast Max Gamer Challenge, in which he invites gamers to donate towards his, uh, his charity called Will Hates Cancer, <laughs> which is an exceptional name for a charity, and also is uh, obviously in researching cancer and trying to find a cure. 
Um, if you donate, you will get a chance to play with uh, Wolf Farrell and San Francisco. You'll get uh, flown up there. You'll get put. Uh, you'll get be able to see the Twitch TV studios as well as play some games, meet some pro gamers. It looks like it's going to be a really cool event, but it will only happen if you raise three hundred seventy-five thousand uh, dollars for Will Hates Cancer. I will link the Indiegogo page below. It has a pretty funny trailer where Will Ferrell calls himself Will Ferrell, P-H-A-R-R-E-L, like the artist, or is it double L? I can't even remember. Oh, that's, that's how up to date I am with music. And so yeah, I mean he is, it's this pretty funny video, uh, really good campaign. I suggest checking it out, uh, maybe even supporting it. You could fly yourself to San Francisco to play games with Will Ferrell. So why not? Right, ladies and gentlemen, that's my news for the 11th of September 2014. I've got my cup of coffee and we're going to be on our merry way. And uh, until tomorrow, keep on gaming.